Hello everyone, and I'd like to say happy late new year. Um, I have a fixture running here, but let me go ahead and plug it so I can actually talk to you guys. Um, sorry if my uh, camera quality looks kind of low right now. I don't have an SD card for uh, my phone. Hopefully, I'm actually getting myself in shot here. Let me just double check. Yes, but not very good, but that's okay. Um, this is just an update video for you guys now that we're in the year 2022 and I basically want to talk a little bit about what's going on. I realized since I've done my line material split door unit style video that I've been absent for a month and I'm sure a couple and or maybe a few of my viewers are actually wondering <laughs> what's going on. So I've been very busy um, during cr the Christmas season when I... Um, had done all my videos that I was supposed to do with my streetlights. Um, I had been working a lot. Um, I didn't have a lot of days off. I had been working seven days a week, 12 hours. So it was very hard. But once January hit, um, things went back to normal. And since I started uh, having my weekends back, um, I've been saving streetlights. So, um, yeah. And I haven't really been focused on YouTube as much. But I do have plans for you guys. Um, that is why... Of course, like I said, I'm doing this vlog. I do want to update you guys on some videos that I'm planning on doing. But yeah, basically since Christmas, I've, I've, I've been saving some more street lights that I think are really worth uh, preserving and um, trying to get them, you know, here in my collection and working and stuff. And I just recently got a storage unit as well because I have unfortunately accumulated too many fixtures to be able to fit in my... Uh, well, you can't really tell because of this dumb camera on my phone, but, you know, I've gotten too many fixtures to, I got too many fixtures that, um, unfortunately they all won't fit in my apartment room. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, <laughs> yeah, I've had to make space. Um, it's been quite hard, but, um, now that we're in February, um, I'm happy to say that I got some space back and now I can actually record, um, too. That was another thing. I couldn't do any videos. I just didn't have the room. But, oh yeah, and happy Valentine's Day to everyone. Um, happy late Valentine's Day, uh, that is, because it, it, this video has been recorded after Valentine's Day. But, yeah. Um, but now that all the, that January has passed, um, I do have plans on some videos, um, some new plans, and some old plans that I've actually had since I've gotten some of my stuff over Christmas. And to save some stuff, so some long-time plans and some... Uh, new plans on videos for you guys and let me go ahead and talk about those so um one thing that happened over christmas and i was very blessed um it was a good thing and it was kind of a sad thing and i'll tell you why um so uh this is a pemco fixture right here this is a 400 watt mercury vapor fixture and i'm going to do a big video on this because this is a very rare um very obscure very special fixture and what all, what makes it very special is there's not really any information known about this thing people know these exist but they uh don't know what this fixture is called although i think i do know what it's called but i'll hold that for that video but um this pemco fixture here and then i got a couple others i had a uh i had another one i forgot what it was but i got one of those uh, pemco bright brightway juniors here you can see it's photo cell and has a fin. And I also got uh, one of these uh, two, 250 watt mercury style copper heads. Um, I don't know what this one's called either, but people mis mistake mistakenly uh, call these the Brightway Juniors when this is actually the Brightway Junior here. But um, these Pemco fixtures here and the one I just showed you out here, um, they came from a collector. I, I went back to, to Royersford, Philadelphia. And Philadelphia to see if I could uh, get any more of those rare MV 121s that I had done a video on. Um, I'm sure you guys um, have seen it. Um, I went back to that municipal to see if they had any more. Unfortunately, they did not. They just had a bunch of uh, other random street lights that weren't really important, so I just kind of left. But I traveled over to Philadelphia, and this was before all the winter snow <laughs> basically came. And there was uh, I stopped across the house. It was in kind of a kind of a weird area it was like right next to like chester there's a bunch of rare street lighting there that's why i went there and looked around and i went over i suddenly hit a rich area of town because chester apparently is pretty poor um from what i saw it was awful um and i went i suddenly hit a, a nice part of town there was a big house and this person was kind of having a little garage sale i guess the 
the owner of that house died and um the owners had these fixtures just on the side of the road it was a very i was very lucky i was there at the right place and the right time you could say them um, they were throwing this fixture away as well as um these two these two pemcos here and they had a couple other things but i don't really have them here so i can't show them to you but they were throwing these away and i i went berserk because these pemco fixtures are very obscure and rare and i actually spoke to the owner and he told me you know this this person um used to work for uh pico's uh lighting authority i um, back in, I guess, the 80s, and he had these around. Um, he had um, he had gotten these. They were going to scrap them, I guess. So he saved them. Um, this one, though, didn't have the glass. Luckily, I was able to get the glass over um, last month. But um, this, this one didn't have the glass, but I did get the glass for it. Um, it did actually have the glass, but it was broke. Um, I just had a chunk of it. I have that chunk. I'll show you guys maybe a video about it. But, yeah, yeah. The owner said they didn't know anything about them, and I didn't tell them they were rare or anything. I just asked if, like, you know, because they were throwing them away. I just asked if I could pick them up and take them, and they're like, sure. So I grabbed them. Um, they were all, they're all original. Um, I, this one works. The fish head uh, had a problem with the transformer. I'm going to get the ballast recoiled. It burned up. Um, but the this one works too so i'm really um happy to have gotten these fixtures but it's sad because the collector um who had these did pass away um i asked the i asked some questions if that guy was ever on like light gallery or on the facebook groups but um he didn't know so he just he's he didn't really have a lot of fixtures anyway he just had those i guess he just picked them up he wasn't really a collector but yeah anyway I'm going to be doing a video though about uh, this fixture here and then that uh, 400 watt out there. Um, this fish head's going to wait because this fish head, um, you can see, has some damage and uh, it's like major damage on the side yeah, right there, bullet holes. I got to see if I can find parts. I want to restore this before I do a video on it. <clears throat> Oops, sorry about that awful camera angle. But yeah, that, those will be um, some fixtures that I've been, I've been waiting a while now to be doing uh, videos on. So, um, stay tuned for that. Those will be the first two fixtures. I'm going to do a two-part series on them. So, hopefully, um, that makes you guys excited. Um, I got the Spalding Metropolitan uh, 1000 here. I've had this for a long time now. I just haven't really talked about it or anything. But the capacitors uh, weren't working in it. It would trip the breaker. They were failed. But the this thing is all original. Um, it's a... Also a very obscure fixture, and I don't think a lot of people know what this is. So uh, that's also a video I would like to be try doing uh, in the future, but I may hold off and wait on that one. Now a video I definitely want to do for you guys, and I know you guys have been requesting me to do it in the comment section. My Fend M1000 here. I'm definitely going to be doing a video on this fixture soon, so stay tuned as I will be doing a video on that. Um, this fixture is very awesome. It has a very awesome story, and a really nice guy gave it to me as a gift. So um, I will thank him when that video comes. So please uh, stay tuned for that. All right, so from that fixture, we go to this one. Um, I'm not doing a video on that, so don't ask. That fixture is uh, needs a lot of work. But this fixture right here. Now, uh, this might be... This is kind of also an obscure fixture, but... People at least know what the name is of it, but I'd like some more information to hopefully be found after I do a video on it. But this is a uh, 17 triple zero. Um, it's an it's not really the American Electric version, but of course when I go in to do a video on this, I'll talk a little bit more about that. But this is a 17 triple zero, so that'll be a video I'll do, and then hopefully after uh, those videos that it. I got, um, I'd like to do a video on this fixture. So this fixture right here is a Hubble RMG. This is kind of a newer fixture. Well, actually, excuse me. This is a newer fixture, but it's obscure. These fixtures aren't very common, but I got this Hubble RMC here that, uh, this fixture I actually got off eBay. It's gutted right now, but I'm going to put some, uh, 250 watt pulse start stuff in it and i i'm going to do that because uh this one right here i got a hubble rlg 
Um, these came, uh, these came off of eBay. Uh, this one was from a different seller than the one that this person sold to me, but, um, this one, uh, this is RLG. It's a very weird, kind of obscure modern fixture, but, um, this one's 400 watt pulse start. So I just got to get a lamp for this. Um, this had just a regular, uh, 400 watt metal halide lamp in it, which you can run, but it's more ideal to run the, 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 you know, specifically the right lamp, so I'm going to wait on that, but yeah, these are just both brown uh, Hubbles, so sorry about all the noise outside. We got a snowstorm right now, but yeah, so those are some uh, street lights that I'll be doing videos on. So they got the Pemco's here, the uh, 17 triple zero, the M1000 with uh, Photocell and Finn that everyone seems to want me to do. The reason why I haven't jumped to it right away is because these fixtures are kind of common and everyone knows about them. I like to focus on more obscure fixtures on my channel that people don't know about. And I do that because I want to hopefully get the word out as to how important it is to hopefully, you know, look for more of these. I'm hoping people are trying to be proactive as I do these videos. But, yeah. Um, the Hubbles will definitely be uh, some videos I do. Once they're ready to go, but yeah, I'm thinking um, what I'll do in order is the Pemco's, the Find M1000, the 17 Triple Zero, and then the Hubbles, which I'd like to do a video on. Um, and like I said, um, even though these fixtures are relatively new still, um, it is 2022. I believe they discontinued these somewhere in the mid 20 2010s, probably like 2015 or 16. Even though these fixtures are newer fixtures they are i say they're very obscure because i don't see a lot of pictures of them online nor people even really talk about them so i'd like but their information is out there you can find catalog information but i still want to do a video on them just to kind of get that word again out there so hopefully people will recognize um these fixtures more and share stuff so yeah but um that's really my plans for february and uh February and March is to do videos on these streetlights. Um, I will say, I, for my, I know I got some traffic light viewers now on this channel because I've been doing some videos. Um, I'm going to pause on some doing traffic light videos at the moment, except for one signal that I will do a video on as well. And uh, let me just go downstairs. Sorry for this really dark shot. I have to get it down. Excuse my mess, that's my sister. This isn't really a rare signal, but I do want to do a video on this 8 inch uh, Durasig here. It's an incandescent Durasig. This is a very nice signal, and it's uh, it's a later version. It's like, I think a second gen, because it has some the more slanted visors on the front. I will be doing a video on this fixture, and I'm going to compare it with my 12 inch one. Um, I really do like this signal. A lot so that'll be a video I do oh and I forgot to mention one thing so let me rush upstairs and show you another video I'll, I'm definitely going to be doing is this one right here so this is a Unistyle 400 um this actually came from uh, Flint Michigan I've had this for a while as well um one thing that does make this uh, version special is the glass um it's like a deep variant um more detailed deep variant glass that it's hard to find on unistyles so yeah this is a really cool fixture and that'll definitely be a video i do but probably later on down the road um i don't really 100 percent know but yeah um i got these fixtures recently too um actually not that one um this is a spalding metropolitan 250 which is some pretty rough shape i've had to make some repairs so that will be in another video hopefully in the future and then that's just a one of the that's just an american electric 113 from 1990 and it's the ballast and it's burned up and needs to be recoiled as well but those will be down the road but yeah hopefully um that sheds some light on what's been going on and hopefully what videos i'll be doing soon uh, i don't really have an sd card for some reason it's gone i'm gonna buy some new ones and Hopefully I can get some videos out soon and 
I'm thinking about probably switching my video format just a slight bit for you guys to make it a little easier. Um, one thing I've noticed uh, over time is um, since I've not had a camera stand for a while, but now I do, I've gotten used to just holding the camera in my hands and kind of like what I'm doing now. And it looks crappy, right? So I'm going to start doing more still shots so things are a little bit easier for you guys to see when I do these videos. Because obviously when I review these street lights, I'm opening them up, taking them apart. And when I'm doing that and wobbling the camera around, well, no one can see what I'm doing. So it's important that my shots are still and clear for you guys. And in my videos, honestly, are just better that way. So, yeah. Um, that's really all I got for you guys. Um, I'm hope Hopefully you guys, um, hopefully 2022 has been a good start for everyone. And that everyone's had a good Christmas and Valentine's Day. Um, I know this year's been starting out rough for a lot of people. And hopefully it won't get any worse. But I don't know about if it's going to get any better right now but hope you guys are all staying safe uh hope no one's got covid um and yeah that's all i got for you guys so anyway stay tuned and hopefully the pemco videos will show up soon for you guys anyway i hope you guys are having a good good day and uh happy collecting everyone goodbye